Hey guys, Chrome OS 104 is finally here and there are some new features that I want to share with you guys. I will focus on this video on the main features that change in the Chrome OS 104. In the settings, the, as you guys see also in the Lenovo Duet that I have here, it's updated to the latest stable Chrome OS software, it's the Chrome OS 104. Hope you guys will enjoy this video and as always don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. Let's start with the main aesthetic change in Chrome OS 104. Wallpaper and the style application now is redesigned and it's now more than just changing the wallpaper. On the right side, we have the screensaver and on the left side, we have the wallpaper, which we can select the image here and that will take us to the settings. Down here, we have a new set of UI settings to change it from the dark and light mode. We can also select the auto mode here, which will automatically change based on the time of the day. So if it's a night, it will change automatically to the dark mode. And if I go to the wallpaper application here, we have the Google Photos here. There you can choose your own photos as a wallpaper automatically. And I found that there's a new set of wallpapers here to match this dark and light mode. As you guys see, they have two colors here. So now my UI is in light mode. So it would be the wallpaper, the background will be also in the light mode. So if I change it to the dark mode, it will also automatically change to match this uh, UI setting. You can also easily change it from the light and dark mode also from the system bar here. So you just go down, toggle it on, toggle it off, then it will, the UI will match it. So it's easy to change it between the dark and light mode here. Next is the screensaver. This is completely new that it's added to this wallpaper and style settings here, which you can turn it on and turn it off. You can also choose the screensaver animation from slideshow, feel the breeze or float and by. There are some different way of animations that exist here. You can choose the image source from Google Photos or Art Gallery. Also, you can change the weather from Celsius and Fahrenheit. This new dark and light mode goes beyond just changing the color of the UI. It's more than that. It is actually more like a material you that you have in the Google Pixel phones and Android devices. Every menu bar looks also different. The corners are more rounded now. And also the colors of these menu bars are matching your background. So if I go to wallpaper now and change a different wallpaper here, you will see that the background of this menu bars also, or this shelf that we have down there will also match the color of our uh, background and wallpaper here. The next main feature is the new app launcher with the redesigned user interface. As you guys see, when you open the app launcher here now, it is much smaller window. It doesn't take the whole screen. It's much subtle. It's much better. So especially if you use it in the desktop mode. On the top, you have the Google Assistant and the search bar. Then you have the continue with your document. So if you open the document before, you can easily click them and go and continue working on them. Generally, I don't like them. This part, I can also remove it. Just you can right click and remove these suggestions. And then you have the application suggestions, the most currently used and the most used application. And down there you have your app drawer with all of the applications. You can sort this by the name and color, but generally I don't like it to do it like this. I'd like to sort them the way I wanted, which makes more sense to me and I can find my application easier. Here we have the screencast application, which was released in the last software update. Now we have the gallery application. This is released in this 104 software update, which I will come back at the end of this video. Now I want to show you guys shortly how the app launcher looks in the tablet mode. I will switch off the mouse here. It will automatically then switch to the tablet mode. As you guys see, the app launcher now takes the whole screen. You can sort them by name and color. And also, as before, you can set the wallpaper here. It opens again the wallpaper application here. And the top, you have the search bar, you have the assistant. On the top, you have to say continue with the documents part and the application suggestions. So again, it takes the whole screen in the tablet mode. The next main feature is the calendar overview on the shelf. So you can easily press on the date here and it will open the calendar toolbar. Here you can select the date and see the schedule that you have and you can open it in the calendar progressive web application here. And here you can, of course, create an event, which I will do here to test it out. I will write it here just like a test. 
to create an event that we can see how it will look like in this calendar overview. After we create the event, we can now go to the calendar toolbar here and see that there's a small dot there and we, when we click on it, then we will see the event that we created. When you click on it, it will open the calendar application again. The problem is if you go to the calendar toolbar or widget here, and if you click on the date, if you want to create an event, you cannot do it from this uh, toolbar. You have to go to the progressive web application and create the event there. That's a problem that exists for now, but I hope that in future you will be able to create the event directly from this small widget or toolbar. That would be perfect. Of course, here in the calendar toolbar, you can change the months and you can see the events and you can press on the today to come back to the current date. Let's move to the last main feature in the Chrome OS 104, and that's the new standalone gallery app with the possibility to edit PDF documents. Previously, you could see the images, you could also play the videos or play music. Now you're able to edit PDF documents using this gallery application. I would now open a PDF document, which I created before to test this gallery app PDF document functionality. As you guys see that I have the PDF document open here. I can add a text here, like previously, if you could do that in the PDF viewer in the Chrome browser. Now I can add hi here, change the color, and it can be saved here. Then I can also use the pen here to write something. And that works also exactly as you expected, similar exactly to the PDF viewer in the Chrome browser. On the left side, we have the sidebar here, which gives an overview of the pages, the existing document. In this example, it's only one page. And when you finish with your work, with your editing, you can just press save and the document will be saved. Now I want to close the gallery app, open the document again to show that the edited version is fully saved and you can continue working. You can again add text or you can write with a pen uh, and you can edit it again. There is now one big change in the system in the Chrome OS when you open the PDF documents. Now I want to show that in the files, if I want to open the uh, PDF document, the default application right now is the gallery app. Previously, it was the Chrome browser. The PDF viewer from the Chrome browser was the default application, which you can again, as you guys see in the video, you can again open it with this Chrome browser with the PDF viewer, but the default application changed now to the gallery app for the PDF documents. So this was a short overview of all of the main new features in the Chrome OS 104. Now you have the new wallpaper and style application with new wallpapers matching this light and dark theme that exists in Chrome OS 104. You have a new app launcher, you have a calendar overview, and you have a new PDF editor using the gallery application. Editing the videos using Google Photos didn't work for now. Maybe it, Google Photos needs an update. So that was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if I found another features in the Chrome OS 104, I will share it with you guys. Hope to see you guys in the next one and don't forget to subscribe.